Hello guys, in this video we'll learn to detect and fix code smells in our Rust code with Clippy. Clippy, your Rust code assistant or a Rust linter with bunch of lints to catch common mistakes and improve your Rust code. So we'll be using Clippy for this video and there are over 750 lints included in this crates. So that's like literally insane amount of lints which can help us fix the quality and style of our code. So we'll be using Clippy and we'll just do rust up component at Clippy. So just copy this command and go back to your terminal or ID. And here we'll just do rust up component at Clippy. For me, it's already up to that, but you guys can just use this command to add Clippy to your machine. So once you have Clippy set up, we'll do the hands on by uh, playing around with a pretty dirty or smelly code. So you can find this code in the description of this video or you guys can use any other project or any such code that you feel requires clippy you guys can just use it and at the end we'll also look at the different configurations that you can set up for your linter so without further ado let's get started and as we do there is a link to my discord in description we are building a community so make sure to join it first of all let's look at different lints that we have and they have by default some restriction which is either it's allowed or deny deny will raise an error and then we have warn which will raise a warning and allow will simply allow you so let's say we search for a lint which is too many arguments now here if we see this one is by default one and the default is seven so you are allowed seven arguments but if you pass more than seven it will raise a warning now we can change it to an error which we'll see in a minute we can also change argument uh, number so let's say we can have a restriction that the argument number would be four or the argument number would be two so this is one of those uh, lens and then there are different other uh, maybe unused so as you can see extra unused lifetime so you can read about different lens here and try to apply in your code so let's get to our text editor let's consider this code as one of our example to understand more about the power of clippy and rust now if i push this code and raise an mr Five or seven out of 10 chances are there that this will be merged. And if we deploy, this works. But just because it works doesn't mean it's a good code. And to understand if this code is good or not, just pause this video for a couple of seconds and try to skim over and see what you can detect is not good and can be improved. Then we check with Clippy. Okay, so time's up. Let's check with Clippy. So we just do cargo Clippy. And there you go. It says there is a equality check against false can be replaced with negation. Then there is text length greater than zero, which can be just replaced with not empty. And then there is an unnecessary clone. So these are different things that are detected. But remember, there are 750 lints. It can also detect things like, you know, more arguments or uh, you are implementing something which is redundant and it's already there in the language. So how do we fix this? And we can simply do is cargo clippy fix. And if you have the changes which are uh, uncommitted, so you can just do allow dirty. So allow dirty. And now if we just check what's changed or how the code looks like now. So let's do a reload. And there you go. The clone is gone and the length check is gone and the check with flag is equals to false is gone so basically if you can see now the conditions are more simplified and somehow it also contributes to the performance of this code as well let's take another example so here we have a function with tons of arguments and it just doesn't give good readability but if we try to do cargo clippy as you can see, it gives us a warning saying too many arguments. The allowed is seven by default, but you have eight. So it fails, basically gives us a warning. And if we want to allow this to happen, then on top of our file, we can just do is we can add a warn saying uh, allow. And here we can just say clippy too many arguments. And now if we do the same, as you can see, we don't get any warning. 
but instead we don't want to allow this then we can simply say is deny actually and now if we save again and do this as you can see now it turns into an error which was by default a warning so this is how you can set up uh, basically you want to uh, allow or deny or you want to warn it so once we have this the next thing is to learn how can we specify the lints like for example here it's allowing seven arguments but what if i want to restrict to three only so for that uh, we'll go to the next part of this video for that in the root of your project we have to add clippy toml file here we can specify all the thresholds config or limitations so let's say we want to specify the arguments as max maybe three so i would say two many arguments threshold and you can see the chart on your screen so these are all different uh, settings or limitations or thresholds that we can specify here so too many arguments threshold and we'll set this to let's say three and we write go to our man and we run so now as you can see it fails and it says too many arguments the allowed is three so if we just change it to three and three and just three and now we write and we do cargo clippy it works so basically this is how we can specify our own settings that we want to similarly we have uh, lens for naming so let's say we search for naming and here there we have uh, uppercase acronyms so if your struct looks like this uh, use in state and we can have configuration to allow or disallow as well uh, similarly we have more complex lens as well like for closure so as you can see block and conditions uh, instead of code looking like this use this so these are different lens that we can configure for our project to ensure that the code is more readable and maintainable and there are tons to cover in this video but for now i'll leave it to you guys because it's just too much to cover so just try out at your end and let me know in the comments some of your favorite lens uh, which you use for your project most often and i'll catch you guys in another video with another interesting topic until then bye bye